I, I think we just got saved. Some really bad trade management coming up in this video. Hopefully you can learn from it. What? What a disaster. Um, let's get into it. Hey guys, Carlos here with Bearable Traders. Uh, I haven't done a recap in a very long time. I, I'll clean this up right now. It looks messy. But either way, we're sitting here at 10 a.m. guys, and uh, we, we got into this beautiful, beautiful trade on BABA. We went short pre-market 82. I've been shorting this thing since uh, I didn't swing it, but I shorted on Friday as well. It just has been an incredible uh, uh, stock to trade to so the short side, a lot of weakness. Um, last week was BBBY for me. That was the, another one that, again, had no business being up there. I, I recorded some videos for it, but I, I didn't post them in time, so I won't share that with you now. But either way, here is Baba, um, and we are looking pretty good now, but it wasn't like that just a few minutes ago. So we went short. Great. And this pop here comes out of the blue, guys. I mean, this thing just happened out of nowhere. Uh, I was not ready for it. I, I was I was uh, having breakfast after pre-market show. I have the, I have my breakfast, so I was not ready for this move that was just happening. Um, and I took some off. I was so late to it. Just kind of again, I was just not paying attention. Came back to see what was happening, and then I realized, wow, this is a big drop. Took a partial off here, and still have a couple of shares left. Not a big position. We we had um, we took two hundred and fifty shares for this. Um, we covered some already. And I uh, covered 25 here just to kind of take some off the table. And it looks like I might need to take some more off here as well as it is looking to head higher. So we got 175 units left. We'll take 25 off here again. Um, and let's not uh, actually, you know what? We'll take off 50. Let's take off a little bit more in case this thing becomes a double bottom, which will be uh, great with the way it's selling off. But either way, we went from uh, up nicely on a great position to barely, you know, barely making a green, especially up here. So I just completely froze up when it started going back against me. Um, and even here, it came back down again, just kind of, uh, this happened pretty fast, actually, just wrapping myself around everything going on. And then eventually we're, we're almost at break even. Here's the entry guys at break even. So, um, again, small size, so it didn't really matter if it went to break even or even my stop, which was, uh, it was a little bit higher. I think it was 83 or so, um, my original stop. So I was, I was determined to go back up there to see if we can salvage this trade and somehow we did um but this is more luck now on this side than actually great trade management so not being prepared was the key here um uh i didn't even notice the market was open until andrew had mentioned it um on the chat so again i was completely caught off guard uh, um at that time i didn't realize how even big the move was at first so i took a very small partial that was only like 50 shares i should have taken a lot more that should have been half of the position you should have taken out Right then and there, 125 off immediately. I think at that time when I looked at it, we were up like 700 bucks or, or maybe more. Um, you take out everything, you know, or take out half right away. So we're recovering here now, guys. The market has been, let's get the market up here. Market has been really good, very volatile. Our four stocks this morning was Neo, Baba, Oxy, and Apple, which all were really good. Look how great Apple is trading right now. I mean, this thing is moving up nicely um uh, again one of the few that has shown some strength this morning out of the gates instead of the other ones that kind of are selling down looks like bob is going to be nice to us selling some more here uh, uh down towards the downside i wonder if we can get to the lows again at a 75.50 so i'm going to start setting up for a possible continuation of the test here of the lows uh, i won't hold you guys up for that video maybe i'll record it and then just share it later see if we actually hit it but 77 75 we'll put some there let's sell about 50 more shares there as well let's see if we can get that um i, I don't want to overstay my welcome here on this trade because it, this this could have been a break-even trade i mean sadly but true so um let's see if we can get down to the 77 75 but i will be taking some off as we go here maybe 78 50 if we can take some more off and just uh, important thing guys here look how small we're trading we're, we're literally trading 70 uh 250 units and on a stock like this where it's very volatile you can make a pretty good amount so you do not need to swing for the fences you know we preach that over at bbt don't swing for the fence you could make a small amount and do pretty good so i'm going to play some defense here and i'm going to take off some at 79 um or just right here actually i'll set a market order just because you, you know we, we're, we're sitting pretty good right now we don't want this thing bouncing back and you know that squeeze can be aggressive i mean guys baba at 79 who would have thought this thing was trading well above 100s at 1.2 something and, and look at this now 
I mean, just insane. So um, let's uh, let's kind of lucky stars here. I, I don't want this going up above 79. If it does, we'll take some, uh, take some off. So guys, thank you so much. If you haven't done so, Norman and I, um, if you haven't joined us, Norman and I are live every morning at 8.30 preparing this exact same watch list here. These two are possible. So I was not convinced that they were going to do great. And you can see here, uh, A-Firm is just a horrible trading stock. This is what I'm talking about. In the morning when I tell you something doesn't look good, uh, doesn't trade good, this is it. Had a nice pop in the morning, then did nothing after that. Pretty much flat. So, um, yeah, come join us, 8.30. Uh, engineering the Markets at 8 a.m. with Jerry. He'll get you an overall view of the market. And uh, we'll get you a fine-tuned list at uh, 8.30. So check you guys then. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.